<clears throat> and to do a really lame Doc Holiday from Tombstone with a baby cup. Holster it. <laughs> so stupid. Hey, 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 hey! Who goes there? Welcome to Bruce's back. Welcome to Bruce's back. I'm Dan. How the hell are your family and your pets? Uh, as I always ask, I hope they're well. Fish, dogs, ferrets, whatever. Um, anyway, let's jump into this beer, shall we? Uh, very momentous week, uh, as always. Hopefully you're well. Uh, this one I picked up at Handy Market in Burbank, uh, my favorite spot. Literally, the reason it is, it's it's a great beer store, and it's literally a mile from where I pick up my uh, daughter. Uh, so, kind of works out. Uh, so anyway, Handy Market and Burbank had this uh, Weldworks Brewing out of Greeley, one of my uh, favorite breweries. This one is called Double Dry Hop. It's a unicorn thing. Uh, again, trying to limit the IPAs I do here and there, but had to pick this up because uh, I'll tell you in a second. 8.5 on the Richter. Tap in. Well, first of all, it's Weldworks. I, I don't, I like to, I like to try stuff from Weldworks, of course. Greeley, Colorado. Uh, this is double dry hopped, hazy double IPA with Citra, Mosaic, and Lotus hops. Uh, I looked up Lotus because I'm not always drinking Lotus hops. Lotus hops are supposed to give the flavor of like orange, vanilla, berry, and tropical fruits. Jokingly called an orange creamsicle type of hop. Uh, and just to refresh yourself, uh, Mosaic is the daughter of Simcoe, but is... It's supposed to give you blueberry, tropical aromas, uh, maybe citrus, maybe grassy, pine, spice, tangerine, papaya, rose, earthy, floral blossoms, bubble gum. I've heard that before. I feel like it can be across the board with mosaic and give you a quick refresher on citra. Same thing with citra. Citra can give you anything from peach, apricot, passion fruit, lemon, melon, other tropical fruit flavors and aromas. So, you know, mosaic and citra, obviously, you see all the time. Lotus. Orange vanilla creamsicle, uh, you don't see all the time. So there's that descriptor. Uh, this one is literally a month in the uh, can, so still relatively fr 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 fresh. Um, it's kind of what I got. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up and uh, see see what we got on this one. Double dry, du the double dry hop. It's a it's a unicorn yeah. thing, not the original one. All right. On that note. Will you please hit the hell out of that like and subscribe button, por favor, as I always ask. That way we can sit down with cold drinks anytime you want. What's that, Matthew McConaughey? All right, all right, all right. Please like and subscribe. Thank you much. All right. Um, a little uh, something on the side of my glass. God damn it. Um, excuse me with, with the, the harsh D. Um, got about... Three and a half, almost four fingers of head right off the pour. Again, I do this to get the carbonation out, not trying to tip it exactly at 45 degrees and pour it so there's no foam. Because again, don't want the carbonation going inside my gullet and uh, all that stuff. You can look, look that up uh, any other time, but I just keep reiterating that for people say that I don't pour right. So it is what it is. Uh, all right. So there's that. I'm going to wait for it to catch up and uh, we'll move on. Hold on one sec. Almost there, but that's a lovely looking dome of foam. One sec. All right, I'd say that's close enough. Uh, it's nice. Again, you'd never be upset if a bartender served you that that glass of beer. And by the way, shout out to Dan and the Dan Patrick Show. Go check them when you get a chance. Any morning, uh, as, I, as I like to say, 6 a.m. Uh, West Coast time, 9 a.m. East Coast time. So, all right. Well, cheers to them and cheers to you. Make sure you got a full beer right now and you can cheers me. Let's get it. No words, just emotions. Let's let's get the aroma check. Okay, getting uh, getting a kind of like earthy dry hop, along with maybe some lemon and orange. Maybe some mango actually. But I would say lemon, lemon orange, and dry hop uh, er earthiness. Okay, smells smells delicious, yummy. All right, now no words, just emotions. Let's help me out, like and subscribe. Let's drink a beer. Ooh, okay. It's got that uh, 
that malt, the kind of subtle, subtle caramel malt uh, kicking in, like kind of earthy caramel malt uh, backbone that some some of these have. It's very interesting. Good. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. It's a unicorn thing. I'm at, maybe I'll see what that's uh, even at, even about. I don't know why they would have said it's a unicorn thing. I'm sure I'm sure it's on the descriptor somewhere. But all right, cheers. Say so, like I said, earthy, grassy, uh, maybe even some pineapple and, and grapefruit in there, going with the orange and lemon. Uh, oats, wheat. That you'll get from these New Englands, can't always you can't leave that out. It's a big descriptor of the mouthfeelness. And what is the mouthfeel out of a hundred? I'm gonna say seventy out of a hundred. Uh, you know, somewhere between medium and full mouthfeel. Um, got all that in there, pretty much. All right, that's that's all we got of double dry hop. It's a unicorn thing. We got the full thing. Um, does it feel like eight and a half on the Richter? I would guess eight. It does feel like a double, but doesn't quite. I don't know. I could see it being eight, eight and a half, but I, I think I would have guessed eight. Um, all right, one more sip. Just to get that deliciousness. Yeah, maybe got got a little little, little peach uh, cream skull there. Um, orange vanilla. I could see that. Orange vanilla cream skull kind of feel to it. Uh, give me one second. I'm gonna keep drinking this. See what other comments there's been of these. You know, again, it's averaging a 4.3. Yeah, 4.32 out of five out of 240 ratings. So. That's one reason why I was like, you know what? I got to check this one. Uh, hold on one sec. Okay. My uh, daughter, uh, I just happened to have my wife taste it, and daughter was playing with a unicorn. So, uh, Miss Miss Siley, you want to you wanna, you wanna show me your unicorn and say it's a unicorn thing? It's a unicorn thing. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, just hap coincidentally, she happened to be playing with a unicorn, and I happened to be drinking a... See? Got the unicorn. So you want to hit hit the bell and say, it's a unicorn thing. And say, like and subscribe. <laughs> okay, thank you. She's tired. All right. Get everything back in order. All right. Yeah. Wanted to see the wife's perspective on this, uh, and my daughter was playing with her unicorn. I just thought it was so coincidental. I had literally wasn't even thinking about bringing her in until she was playing with a unicorn. But um, I was trying to find on their Instagram why they called it a unicorn thing. All it says, I, I don't think that has anything to do with anything, but uh, it's quarter two of 2024, and you know what that means. You have a new stable uh, IPA for the next three months, so without further ado... Say hello to Double Dry Hop. It's a unicorn thing. Um, I don't know. If any Weldworks people or people you know why, like off quick thing, know why they call it It's a Unicorn Thing, let me know. So, let's see. There we go. Let's get my steel drums back in here. All right. Um, comments. Um, I'm just going to read a couple. Um, does that drink? Even though it has nothing to do with the flavor, I enjoyed a uh, middle school band concert done. I've earned this one. Go Avs. Sure did. Um, here's one. Like a hoppy, refreshing grapefruit juice. ABV so hidden, so effing crushable. Excuse me for the harsh F. Borderline dangerously smooth. That's a, This is actually exactly what my wife said. So they're on the same page uh, from a James R. Exceptionally, uh, exceptional, like a new, like new and improved, credible grapefruit fruit sculpin uh yeah you know it's been a while since i have a grapefruit sculpin but i'd say i get more like the orange and vanilla as the lotus hops are supposed to do so um um uh, yeah 
Another five star though. Um, uh, citrus, fruity, tropical flavor, quick fading aftertaste, very smooth, fuller of 8.5 that sneaks up on you. Person gives it a 3.75 out of 5. Anything else? Nah, that's fine. So, but basically, you know, people seem to seem to like this one. Um, you know, oh yeah, hold on one second. Or you know what? I don't need to do one second. It's going to do palate cleanser, but just, just to show you. This is what you should check. You should, if you're a Scotch person, especially single malt Isla, you should do a little uh, fin login. I'm just gonna do a quick palette. Again, great comparison to like Lafroig or Lagavulin that you can get for like 22 bucks at Trader Joe's. Cheers to you. If you can see that, but it's Ardbeg. Very, you know, it's not as good as Ardbeg, but definitely it's, I wouldn't say it's too far off. Anyway, good palate cleanser. Let's get back in there. Yeah, I'm just going to say that. Everything everything I've said, I'm not going to go over it again. Nothing new. Uh, let's slam it and let's give it a grade. nice but you do get that underlying kind of subtle caramel malt uh go, so it's got it kind of got that going along with the tropical vanilla orange you know pineapple grapefruit um peach mango maybe just a lot of subtle tropical stuff um pretty good pretty good pretty happy with it so um need steel drums in here to go along with the bell all right, from Stowe down to Hell No. I can see what people are saying with the 4-3. Um, it's it's not like wow, but it's it's pretty, pretty damn good. So that's going to get a solid. I'm going to give that a 95 out of 100. Absolute A beer. Um, yeah, n absolutely nothing good to complain about this. Um, and yeah, you know, I got this for like, I think it was like six bucks a can for quality beverage like this. Um, you know, and I'm lo loving my North Park and, I, and and all that, but I decided to pass on North Park this time and go with this because, you know, bought uh, a double for literally, you know, four bucks cheaper a can. Uh, and, you know, just saying, just, you know, figure I'll change it up anyway, just like my boy Pete said, you know. Give some, uh, give some weld works, get some, if anyone wants to send me some treehouse, uh, please, I, I just don't have it out, I don't get, I don't get it out in, uh, Studio City, California, so, alright, but anyway, uh, 95 on this one, uh, you can probably find it at Handy Market, uh, I think you should probably be able to find it still at weld works, and, uh, hopefully enjoying your week, so please give this video a like, and please subscribe, and we will see you on the next beer review. I'll be your huckleberry.